Everything is better at night. Now look, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what went wrong in my DNA coding process, but something must have gone wrong and they became more tangled than the wires under Gumball's desk. Because okay. I personally believe that nighttime is by far the most superior time of day. Right. During the day, it feels like I'm more drained than my phone battery. Chad, am I the only one that likes sleeping during the day and likes staying up at night? I mean, don't get me wrong, as an adult, that's horrible, but everything is better at night. Beating your meat, better at night. Drinking cold water, better at night. Watching a movie, better at night. But when the sun goes down, it feels like I drained an entire pack of Red Bull. It's just something about those wee hours of the night that unlock an assortment of various temperaments and feelings. It feels like I tap in with my higher self during the night, bro. The most simple things become elite experiences at night. Back. So today, we'll be discussing some of the various activities that become high end. Chad, am I bugging or do I feel like eating cereal is also better at night, bro? And hit their peak. No, that's night. how you know you really struggled as a kid. Nigga, you're eating cereal at nighttime? Like, bro, that's how you know you don't have food at home. Why am I eating cereal throughout the day, bro? Nighttime. Comment down below things that hit different during the nighttime and like and subscribe if you're new. First, we gotta talk about eating snacks. Now, I don't know about y'all, but eating during the day, day feels like a task. But as the sun starts to set, I end up becoming more famished than Theodore Seville. The first meal that I wanna mention is cereal. Now, if you've seen this video, then you know about how renowned and clutch cereal can Facts. be. But there's something different about Facts. making yourself a bowl of frosted flakes at 3 a.m. During quarantine. Frosted flakes is so mid chat. Can we all agree? The best cereal ever is regular Cheerios. Psych, nigga. I'm gonna tell y'all the top three worst cereals in the world. Regular Cheerios, not the Honey Nut ones. Regular Cheerios, Rice Krispies, horrible. I think it's called like Sugar Wheats. That shit is nasty. Three best cereals, Reese's Puffs, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Honey Bunches of Oats. Argue with yourself. Quarantine, you can find me in the kitchen more often than chowder, bro. If you broke into my crib in the middle of the night trying to get your hands on some valuables, your jaw would drop to the floor like Humpty Dumpty because all you would see is me making a bowl of Fruit Loops at 4 a.m. I swear, cereal was originally made to be consumed during these hours. But yes. the process of actually getting this cereal during these late hours is more treacherous than the fucking Temple of Doom. I swear, during the day, the house is more quiet Facts. than Maggie Simpson. Facts. I can walk up the stairs, open Facts. cabinets, and open doors. Chat, y'all ever try to microwave something at nighttime? This shit sound like you damn near uh, freaking disconnecting a whole missile. Wait, am I the only one? Yo, yo, when y'all niggas microwave something at night, right when it's about to turn into like one zero, y'all open the shit. I be opening the shit because I know, bro, as soon as it go, beep, 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 nigga. That, no, no, that's basically, that's basically the sound Hiroshima gotta make, bro. That's basically a grenade. That gotta be a Call of Duty grenade or some shit. About any noise being simulated. But the moment I try to go downstairs and get a snack during the night, the floorboards decide they want to start impersonating Ariana Grande and produce the most ear splitting creak of all time. Like mm. the floor dash be sounding like a fucking chew toy, bro. Now I gotta move around the crib like SpongeBob trying to steal Patrick's box. Facts. The same thing goes for the cabinets. They start screeching like a fucking Facts. barrel cat. But by far the worst possible outcome of trying to get snacks in the middle of the night is when a plastic cup falls on the ground. Once this esoteric incident occurs, it continues until the end of time. The cup bounces on the ground. Wait, chat, did y'all parents get you in trouble for, for being up at night? Like, I don't understand. How does that make sense? Yo, sometimes parents be given the dumbest punishments. So you're mad at me because my sleep schedule, because I just randomly woke up? Like, look, chat, my dad used to be mad at me for being up at nighttime. I'm sorry that I physically, my body wouldn't, like, you want to argue with how my physical body works? Round more than Tigger, bro. And then this does nothing but summon every nigga in the crib to the kitchen to get on my ass. And then I gotta stop the microwave with one second left because that shit sounds like a fucking tornado siren, bro. But when I finally get whatever snacks that I came downstairs for, I turn off the lights and I scurry back up the stairs before the boogeyman tries to snatch me. But one thing I find very ironic is that when I'm trying to do something around the house and everybody's sleeping, I try to keep the mm. noise and ruckus to a minimum. But when my parents are doing something, they show no mercy and have the house sound like a fucking war is happening. But anyway, the other Even thing- Even eating chips, chat. Yo, when I eat chips, yo. That's one of the snacks that are justifiable with opening your mouth. But at nighttime, you gotta close your mouth, bro. That hits during the night is water. I think it's safe to say we've all been in sleep deeper than the Pacific Ocean. But then suddenly we wake up in a cold sweat, throat drier than a Ritz cracker. My esophagus feels like it's lined with sandpaper. But then you look over at your desk or nightstand and see the most succulent divine- Yo, I swear, when I drink water at night, my throat is more loose than Tiana Trump. The amount of water that I could actually run through my neck- Yo, I might- I'm like- If I, if, if I was zesty- Yo, I might be able to fit Johnny Sins in mine. I'm not going to finish that sentence, but point is, your throat does wonders at night. A bottle of water. I think it's been scientifically proven that the water molecules become more refreshing at 3 in the morning. I'd be gripping that bottle tighter than Squidward holding his jellyfish net. This is what I imagine God's tears taste like, bro. Cold water in the middle of the night is on par with McDonald's Sprite. That should be Max. having me levitating like Max Mayfield. Max. And I hope I'm not the only one who would always bring the entire pantry of food to their room and keep a stash like a squirrel with its acorns. Now we got to talk about showering. Fuck whatever zodiac sign you are. I don't care if you're a Sagittarius, Pisces, Capri Sun. Do you take your showers at night or in the morning? That's how often. Never. <laughs> what? I'm a Genshin Impact player. I am a professional Discord admin. I do not have time to be taking showers. 
find out if we're compatible. But in all seriousness, showering at night is probably one of the most serene and relaxing experiences. Hell no! Yo, Jay, am I the only one that is scared of the bathroom at nighttime? I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe when I was a kid, now I'm okay, but I'm okay off of taking showers at nighttime. Because it's even worse because at nighttime, if you hear, like, in daytime, if you hear a sound, you could be like, oh, okay, that's someone that's roaming. Nigga, if I even feel like I heard some shit at nighttime and taking a shower, no, I'm turning off the water and I'm handing my ass to sleep. Bro. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with taking showers in the morning or whatever, but them motherfuckers damn near put me back to sleep. And due to school starting before the pyramids were built, I had to get up at 6 a.m. to take showers. So niggas was in the shower dozing off like I was gone off melatonin gummy. Yo chat, okay, can I be real with y'all, bro? As a kid, I didn't like taking showers. I'll be real. Some of y'all niggas gonna call me dirty, and that's okay. But I'ma just tell y'all niggas my reasoning. I just I thought showering was boring. I'll be real with y'all, bro. I just found it boring. I was just like, dude, I can occupy my time better. I mean, now I, I see the importance. I don't want to be musty, but as a kid, I was like, fuck, dude, I don't want to, I gotta take a shower. This shit feels like a task. I'll be real. Or something. When I take showers at night, I don't have to worry about how long I shower and managing my time. As long as you don't walk around smelling like two tons of ass cheeks, then we really don't have a problem. But the you thing don't have water. Dude, you're saying this because I'm African? You, you, you're telling me I had no choice? I, I, I couldn't even take a shower even if I wanted to. Yo, oh, oh, what do you want me to say? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to walk 10 miles to fucking take a shower. Dude, Africa is not as bad as you think, bitch ass nigga. The thing is that niggas that I go to school with would come home after five hours of football practice, go to sleep, take no shower in the morning, and then come home smelling like they just had a one night stand with the skunk. Bro, I know y'all bed sheets be throwing like all type of rancid stenches and anguish. But another- Wait, chat, how often do you guys be washing your bed sheets? I literally never. I, I, I buy new bed sheets reason why nighttime showers already leave is because I get to have full on concerts in the shower. I don't know about y'all, but I be in the shower on some rolling loud shit. I be in that bitch like Lil Yachty, bro. I run through my playlist like three times. Now we gotta talk about listening to music. Now just in case you weren't aware, music is a huge part of my life. I go through more music than Anthony Fantana. Yeah, chat, I'll be real with y'all niggas. I be, I be feeling a little like, I be feeling bad for people that sit down in my bed. Because real talk chat, y'all know I be beating my meat in my bed, right? Like I be taking off my boxers. And chat, here's the thing. So I don't know if you guys are meat beaters. Your butt be sweating. Because it like it be low key hot because you be stroking your shit. And the sweat from my butthole literally like stenches my bed sheets. So whoever be yo ho, like I don't even want to smell my bed. Okay, my bad, chat. But I'm just being real, bro. Look at my AirPods in so much, you would have thought they were hearing aids, bro. But the audio waves sound different at night. When I'm listening to music during the day, it's just like I'm hearing the song, you know? It's not rocket science. But at night, it feels like the lyrics are stopping me out like Draymond Green or something. I'm pretty sure we've all had those nights where we just put our favorite album on last and sit there marinating in our feelings. Music is that ass an escape from reality, bro. I don't think mm. I'm the only one who's put some juice world yeah. on full blast. Oh, yes, 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 yeah, chat. Music, oh my goodness, your yeah, chat. I know everyone in here dealt with this. Y'all ever go on YouTube and you see that one throwback and then... The recommended is just a bunch of banger ass throwbacks and you just go on this binge of old music and you really think to yourself like damn bruh music don't hit the same dude it's always like that this nigga want to talk to me about some young boy bro i should ban you bro stared out their window especially when it's raining it's something therapeutic about it but then a yes. lot of times my brain is frank ocean at night is literally bro you're like you're literally nutting but in your ear Sides and wants to suddenly remember every cringy and corny thing that I've ever done in my entire existence. Or you'll start listening to that music that makes you want to get in your fucking bag and start turning your life around at 3 a.m. All of a sudden, my players will shuffle to that hefty ass nigga raw wave. My nigga, I'll drop into the floor and do 100 push ups like an army soldier, Dude. bro. That red. Yo, 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 yo. To all the athletes in my chat, be real. Y'all had that moment where y'all was like, nigga, I gotta move my family out the hood. I gotta go I gotta live better. Bro, if I wanna be the next fucking LeBron James dude, I better I better wake up at 3 a.m. and start fucking shooting hoops. Dude, you don't understand. I used to wake up at 1 a.m. doing push-ups. And keep in mind, to be an athlete chat, I'll be real with y'all. Y'all gotta be doing this shit as a kid. It's getting more competitive. I used to do like 100 push-ups. I was like, <sighs> I need to be the best. Dude, I ain't even make the starting varsity team, bro. Ain't no mass adrenaline, bro. I think I got like a division five offer. It was terrible. Must be ready to have me run a mile, invest in stocks, find a cure to all diseases, all that shit, bro. Someone needs to find a way to bottle that random 3 a.m. motivation and sell it to the general public or something. Now we gotta talk about playing the game. Those Saturday nights staying up until the crack of dawn, rotating through every game on the console or unmatched. When the PlayStation or Xbox decide to release the audio of everything that was ever said in these parties, most of y'all niggas would be behind bars. Some of the conversations that would go down after hours would have most of these niggas on Wait, chat, y'all ever been to PlayStation chat and then 
time flies by so quickly you look outside and it's the morning bro and you got to be prepared for school that got to be one of the worst feelings bro knowing that you can't sleep all day under posters or something we don't even be focused on trying to win matches we just be in there cracking jokes bro because i don't know about y'all but after certain hours the smallest things become way more funny like someone in the party could tell the corniest knock knock joke and niggas will bust out into tears bro especially when these niggas consoles start sounding like fighter jets after 10 minutes i don't think y'all know how hard it is trying to clutch a 1v4 and you got seven niggas in the party blasting music and other bothersome sound effects those facetime calls also be hitting different at night too there's always that one friend who says the most out of pocket things are damn that nigga thick my bad are doing the most nefarious and abominable deeds on facetime bro now we gotta talk about hey out with friends i don't know about y'all but those little kickbacks on the deck with those flimsy ass plastic chairs be some of the realest experiences bro the most yes. in-depth and authentic yo big g appreciate the gift this up my boy conversations go down these chairs just don't lean back in them too hard because these motherfuckers will disintegrate in the thin air bro Fast. you know your friend group is living you can do any activity and it's always a top tier event i don't know about y'all but going to gas stations was always one of the biggest vibes and i'm not even talking about niggas trying to take flicks like they're at some fake ass met gala i'm talking about just You're Chop on me on cheap snacks and buying big ass slurpees. We all got that friend who's a walking garbage disposal and will eat all those decayed ass hot dogs and nacho chips. I know sometimes at night gas stations turn into breeding grounds for crime, but that's why I always roll with my niggas in case something pops off. But just stay safe and aware if you're going out at night at all in general. Love y'all niggas. Or even doing things as simple as going out to eat with the gang is entertaining. Mm. Now we gotta talk about the night before holidays. I'm already convinced that the night before no, the and the anticipation before holidays no, is no, dead no, as no, 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 the night before field trips. Oh my goodness. Yo, if there was one night that I would stay up during my middle school or elementary school, it's 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 field trips. Something about wanting to go to the zoo so bad. Even it could have been a museum. Like I don't care about museums, but the simple fact that I'm gonna be away from school had me just staying up thinking for real. Better than the actual day. Or the first day of school. Like why am I so happy to go go back to school? This shit is ass. Time. Them butterflies be hitting the fucking billy bounce in my stomach, bro. I'm pretty sure we've all stayed up all night on Christmas Eve trying to sneak downstairs and get an early sneak peek of the gifts. This is one of the most memorable experiences I had as a kid, bro. This rule also applies to vacation days from school and work. That Friday night coming home from school and knowing that you got the next two weeks off will always be exquisite. Niggas was staying up like an insomniac because you knew you didn't have to get up early the next morning to go to school. The only problem is that when classes start back up, you gotta adjust your body to having a schedule again. It's like built in jet lag, bro. And obviously, New Year's Eve is better than New Year's Day. That needs no explanation. Now we gotta talk about late night drive. Quite arguably the best occurrence on this entire list. Nighttime drives are like free therapy. Well, not really because gas costs a fucking mortgage, but you know what I mean. It doesn't matter if you live in a big ass city or facts, somewhere facts. rural. Nighttime drives are good for the soul, especially facts. on a cool summer night with the window rolled down, blasting your favorite music. You don't even need a destination, bro. Just go wherever the fuck you want. Plus, you facts. don't have to worry about niggas driving like it's fucking smashy road and damn near causing pileups. Most of the time, there's little to no people on the road at night, and you can just enjoy yourself or whoever else is with you. This really is one of the best ways to clear my mind, bro. Even facts. when I was younger, sitting in the backseat and watching the rainfall was so peaceful. And I'd be lying if I told you that I've never gone on late night walks i hope most of y'all can relate to when i say that the air is just, just so much more fresh at night the entire world just seems free from chaos and anarchy but like i said earlier yo big appreciate the gift this up my boy make sure you're staying safe out here bro because the moment i see anybody or hear any type of noise while i'm walking outside Chat, be real if i was a girl would y'all approach me hey there i'm cosplaying sonic diligently bro but i think it's gonna wrap everything up for this video amazing video bro YouTube, let me know what y'all think is better at night. If you're watching this, join us on Discord, catch us on Twitch, all that good stuff, man. Waxer for life. Love y'all. And peace.